Still by Toby. Toby is a versatile artist who describes his sound as spontaneous, eclectic, lyrical hip hop filled with funk and soul. He grew up a fan of the music he'd heard growing up in Lagos, Nigeria. After moving to Canada at eight years old, he looked to Michael Jackson, Marvin Gaye, Imogen, Heap, Jadakiss, and Cameron for inspiration. How do we feel about his sound though? Here's our honest review of Toby's latest album, Still. Still by Toby. Yeah, man. Man, had never heard of this guy before. I haven't either. I was looking for something to review, and I was just like, man. I was like, Toby, let me hear how this sounds. Mm -hmm. After number one, I was like, let me go to number two. <laughs> like, yo, if the next one good, we we go. Number three, I was like, man, if the next one good, we go. You just kept <laughs> And then going. after still searching, I was like, all right, let me just, uh, yeah, Toby, man. Uh, how do you feel about this album artwork? Well, I feel like it's real personal. Um, I like the shot because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just something about when you give a shot as menacing as where you look into the camera and you have a lot to look in the foreground and background, I think it's pretty cool. So it's, it's really unique, even though it's like kind of basic idea, but I think it's unique. Yeah, I feel like it, uh, it, it's kind of symbolizing him teaching the youth uh, from some of his mistakes. I mean, he's sitting there, he's wearing the tank top, the kid he's playing is wearing the tank top, he's teaching him to play chess. Hmm. And I, I just took that as teaching the game of life. Yeah, him just like, and then the project um, is called Still, but I feel like in a sense it could have been called Growth as well, even though that's the title track. So yeah. that's the vibe I got from the album artwork. Gotcha. The flow of this project, man, it, it seemed like a journey to me, man. It almost seemed like a concept album. Maybe it was, and I just didn't get 100% confirmation from it. Mm -hmm. But it felt like it was like a struggle of him kind of coming from like his African roots and being influenced by like uh, like north american culture like mm -hmm. america and canadian culture and then like kind of wanting to figure out a nice balance between both ways of life mm. you know what i'm saying and and how it ends with his mom kind of wanting him to come well even come in the middle home. of the project she mentions that she wants him to come back home mm -hmm. who are you hanging with got you late at night out late at night but I, I took it as like it's just a journey of him trying to figure out the right balance for his life yeah it's most definitely the journey like the whole album flows like uh, a storyline so to speak not like from point a to point b but just as an underwinding adventure of just how he's just going through his emotions and everything he's going through and through the music you get a nice diverse variety of sounds throughout that story so it's really easy on the ears highlights man look when i first turned on growth i was just like yo this is some deep poetry right here man and then when the beat dropped in i was just like yeah i love this joint mm -hmm. city blues is super tight mm -hmm. love the way he's singing on the hook it sounds amazing uh locked in is a super super deep song as well as uh cage bird sings like when you turn those two on you actually need to sit and listen just absorb yep. it let it soak in like the things that he's saying yep. uh still searching this is like a 58 second interlude but it's an amazing work of poetry right there i'm not gonna name every song on here so i'm just gonna kind of skip down to 180 and serenity yeah. that joint is crazy Fire. and shoot me down it's another one of those joints i thought was amazing come back home featuring van just shout out to van just shout out dope artist if y'all know who they are check them out come back home was super dope and i love the vibe change on that one like it, it felt really dope and apparently like he's had a song uh he had a song i don't know it's i don't know if it's called gentrification uh but he had a song that was on season two of um insecure so i heard it then because i just finished season two insecure. yeah i thought it was weird because i was just like man i heard that too it's, okay it's like okay, i must gotcha. You know, it's it's a dope song. I listen to it. Shout out to Insecure for having all the good good soundtrack. Though. Yeah, cause yeah. she always get LaKaylee. You know, people be <laughs> people people be slow to get on LaKaylee. Some of y'all probably still don't even know who LaKaylee is, and y'all listen to us. But yeah, man. Um, highlights of this album, I just want to say, is just the fact that everything sounds like really organic and complete. Uh, I can go through and like quick highlights would be City Blues, Locked In, Cage Birds, Sweet Poison. Uh, 24, 180 Serenity, Shot Me Down, and the uh, first uh, the collaboration with Van just at the end. But just all together, I just really like how you really got to be locked in for this album. Like, I tried to put it in on when I was at work and listen to it while I was working, but this is like one of those albums where you have to, like, you can enjoy it, but to really appreciate it, you got to really dwell into it and sit down sonically and everything like that. And I appreciate that he made a vibe like that because 
you know, even with the short interludes and the, uh, you know, breaks in between some songs, I kind of felt like it was still part of the song, part of the flow of the album. So I really appreciate any time an artist do something like that. So that's what I love the most about the album to me. That was a highlight was the fact that it was just one whole session, one whole story. And it was really smooth throughout the whole project. Low lights. I, I really couldn't find any. Uh, there's one song, I think, where uh, when it ends, it plays out for a good 10 seconds before it faded out. That was probably a mastering issue. Yeah, I, I caught um, that, too. Yeah, I think Jacob Lattimore had the same issue mm-hmm. on one of his songs, too. Yeah. But uh, and Styles had it on one of his songs yeah. as well. Uh, as you know basically kind of doing a lot more things on your own you got to kind of pay attention to that yeah. but that's nitpicking as far as the quality of the music though I couldn't find anything man I forgot to mention Sweet Poison is one of my highlights too because that joint is it's fine. amazing mm-hmm. yeah I couldn't find any highlights either man uh, I mean low lights I about to say you couldn't find any highlights <laughs> Damn. I mean low lights man it, it's just one of those albums that are that, that seems like it was crafted with a, a lot of love and care and personal attachment and I, and I love when you get an album like that because it shows how much music means to the artist and just how much this particular kind of subject meant to him so it gets you to understand the personalities just a little bit and everything like that and I want you to find more about them so yeah I'm a fan about to say if you can't find too many highlights you must have been listening to Big Draco oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> bang bang looked at me like what, what you say about Big Draco uh, um, final thoughts man look yo uh, I think Toby is gonna be a big star in this game uh, he he, it seems like he's following in the footsteps of like Kendrick Lamar uh, with the kind of like concept albums uh, for, uh, it took a while for people to catch on to what Kendrick was doing mm-hmm. and I feel like if you actually have the time to uh, listen to and appreciate this album you'll get a lot more value back from it than if you just kind of skim through it mm-hmm. uh, like like you pretty much said yeah. and I, I just don't think Toby's going anywhere because this project man like his concept and his song structure and then just due to the fact that he's adding you know like that Lagos feel and vibe into some of the songs as well yeah. you're getting that dance hall feel that some people are the afro punk sound that you're getting used to nowadays so yeah to- toby's definitely gonna be a star in this game yeah i'm glad the game has opened up so much within the past decade or so where you can ha- actually like you know appreciate artists who rap and sing and have a natural flow to it because when you get projects like this you appreciate that diversity so well and that vers- versatility and everything like that because it just opens up people's minds to different sounds and different waves of music and this is a really really well crafted project that was treated with a lot of care final grade man look check toby gets a check from me Mm -hmm. i will be listening to this joint again this is deep i I have a lot of songs up here i will be putting on playlists from here on out just just overall dope artist man check for me man check them out if you love any kind of meaningful vibes and just good music man just good sounding soulful deep music man 